Ruju, Kitamage Nene Ireland Indigenous, and welcome to this episode of the My Math Network. Today's episode, Chapter 11, Lesson 4 Hands on Estimating and Measuring Weight. Essential question in this chapter, how can I use measurement conversions to solve real world problems? And we'll begin by looking at lesson two's answers. Miles to, to yards, multiply by 1760. Yards to inches, multiply by 36. Inches to yards, divide by 36. On inches to feet, divide by 12. Yards to inches, multiply by 36. Feet to miles, divide by 5,280. Looking at the assignment today, it'll be slightly different than what you see in the lesson, but a lot of comparing and great, less than, greater than, or equal to, between ounces and pounds. And you'll wanna know using this chart, there are 16 ounces in a pound. And you'll quite frequently, if you go to the grocery store and buy a log of beef, You'll see both numbers, 48 ounces, three pounds. And you're gonna be right in your book today on page 825. There are a number of yellow words here. Weight is a measure of how heavy an object is. And that's based on gravity, just as you remember. And a pound equals 16 ounces and a ton equals 2000 pounds. And we'll fill this out, some of the stuff out the best we can as we go in here. Okay, page 819. So we have some objects and you could estimate the weight. Would you use a pound to guess the weight of an eraser? Only if your eraser is from the book fair. Otherwise, probably not. But a math book, you could probably make an argument either way. Pencil, if your pencil weighs a pound, put the matig back and actually get a pencil. Um, if we have, if there was the available resource to weigh these, you could get the actual, but I'm more interested in the estimates today. And guessing five ounces versus one pound versus four pounds is relatively subjective. We'll go ahead and write those in. Give you a few seconds here. And step two, you could use one of these to and set pound or ounce weights. Um, during this particular session, we will not be using that. So I'll just give you the numbers. Go ahead and write those in and I'll give you a moment to do that. And then we'll be turning to the top of the next page. And just remember when I say that I'm move forward, you have a few seconds to pause the video. And I'm gonna go ahead and move forward. Now on the top, we're going to go from pounds to ounces. And there's a pattern here. How many ounces did I say there was in a pound? 16. So how many ounces should be in two pounds? Well, two times 16. <clears throat> so for each pound, we add 16 ounces. So one pound weight is equal to 16 ounces. Go ahead and fill that in. We'll skip past that one today. Let's go to the practice it. I'm going to give you a chance to, I'm not going to worry about that step to compare. Now this is where you're gonna use your math. If you have ounces and need to go to pounds, divide by 16. If you have pounds and need to go to ounces, multiply by 16. 
All right, go ahead and pause video, do these four, and then we'll move forward. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. 46 ounces is less than three pounds because three pounds is 48 ounces. 96 divided by 16 is six, so those are equal. Eight pounds is going to do, let me do some math in my head here. Will be 128 ounces, so slightly smaller, so 130 is greater. And then it's going to be 113, it'll be slightly greater than seven pounds. At this point, I want you to try the assignment. If you have any questions, please reach out to me during class. Have a minute, Gijigad, Minwa, Mama P.